Welcome to this look at an interesting new map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Seely P. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mad Maps Square Island. Available in cinemas soon. This is Square Island. This is a mad map. It's crazy, bonkers. But very clever and very cool. This is by Farmer Rabbit, 138.61 megabytes download. There are two required mods which download automatically. There are no custom crops and contracts are available on the few fields that there are. This, actually, I have to say, this is... I don't think I've ever encountered anything like this. Um, there are 12 collectibles. Well, let's have a look at the map, shall we? Let's just, just go straight to the map. Here's the map. I suppose it should be square and rectangular islands, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's crackers. On New Farmer, we start with this here, which is the main farm. Now, some of these islands at the start are linked by bridges. The ones that are linked, and there are a few linked, but to be able to get two cell points in various different locations on the map that you will need off the start, they are linked with bridges. Some of the islands aren't, and some of the islands, I have to say, there are some really cool bits. For example, down here, we've got a placeables point. A placeables point there. We've got a placeables point to the, to the north as well. So you can buy those islands up and you can build farms, put placeables, productions, whatever you want on them. Um, these little islands down here that have got a river running through them have a real desert island feel to it. A kind of, I don't know, you can imagine being stranded on the coast and coming in here and it being, you'll see as we go around. Um, field prices, not too bad. The square fields, mid 70s. Then we've got the smaller rectangular ones, a little bit less. High 40s. Then we move on to the rectangular fields, 230s. Roughly, apart from these ones down the bottom here, which are 145s, which are a little bit smaller. That's only one, two, three. Amazing. Um, you can buy this the water, the sea. It's only 13,684 farmland one. Now, it does say you can buy it if you want to. I would say there are certain situations where you're going to need to, and I will explain when we move forward. Um, so, as I said, not not break the bank stuff. I'm going to buy that straight away anyway. Am I going to put some money in? I might need to borrow. I might borrow some money rather than put some money in. So anyway, we start here at the vehicle store. <laughs> I'm just looking at it thinking it is one of those. I just yeah. Crackers. Um, so vehicle shop. We're at the main vehicle shop. Vehicle shop trigger here. This is our pickup that we start with and the forklift. Now that is part of our inventory. That is our forklift. Sometimes on maps you have forklift trucks at productions and they're kind of leased or they're just on the map. This does actually belong to us. Um, on New Farmer the slot count is 881. On Farm Manager to start from scratch it's 777. The difference being you don't start with any vehicles, machinery or the buildings at the main farm. And I'll show you one of those kind of it will look like this pictures when, excuse me, when we get to there. There are 12 collectibles. I don't know if you saw on the map as well, there's a maze up here. <laughs> we'll get to that later on. Um, as far as things added in by the map maker on top of the two required mods. Um, I might as well read those out actually because it's not like it's a big long list. We've got the water pack by Omatana and pack of fences by Fudso. If we go into build mode and we go to silos, this silo has been added in. The farm silo, 250,000 litre. Um, that's standard crop types, it's not a multi fruit silo. And then if we go to decoration and others, we've got these three bridges put in which you may need, you may want later on. Or, I mean, there's tons of bridge packs. There's all sorts of stuff out there. So as far as bridging the gaps between islands, you can do that with various different bridges. But these ones work very nicely. They're nice and flat. But again, like I say, there are plenty available in the mod hub should you require them. So, I guess we'll get round. Let's grab the pickup. <laughs> We're going to go to the main farm. We'll go around this island first. This island's got the sort of sell points and productions. There is a harbour area we'll go to later on, and we have got um, a lumber, it's a sail point, but it's like a yum, lumber, a yumber lard, a lumber yard. Uh, we have got, just here, the spinning yarn sail point. As you can see, we've got wool and we've got cotton there. I do like to spin a yarn. 
And then here we've got Bonanza Bulk, or Bulk Bonanza. I kept thinking Hulk Hogan. I've never read Bulk. Bulk Hogan. So this is the Bulk Bonanza cell point just here. I just, honestly, I don't know if it's the maps, I don't know if it's the, the frequency of mods, or just, I'm, I'm absolutely losing the plot today. We come down across here and turn in here. Now this does say, I'm sure it says it's compatible with the various different DLCs, etc. Um, I tried it with Premium and Platinum on, and the sawmill, which is here, is a standard sawmill. It's nothing over and above, it's a standard sawmill. So sawmill point there for purchasing the sawmill. And I think a lot of the productions on here are cheap as well. Um, this one, 25,000. Not bad at all. The wood chip point is around the back there. And our point for actually bringing the wood into the sawmill is just here. Then this side we've got two sell points. We've got a, not sell points, buy points. So we can buy seed and we can buy fertiliser. So we've got a seed buy point and a fertiliser buy point. If you're not sure what you can buy at certain locations, I know I say this whenever I do map tours, if we go into the menu, we go down to our prices menu, if you scroll down every single item on the left hand side, on the right hand side it will say buying and selling. The buying side is what you sell for, I know, it's what they're buying from you. And if you find one that says selling, we should get a seed one, there we go, seed, that's what you're buying seed for. So you can come and buy seed. Now, you might have lots of other options, again, under mods, and then if we scroll down, there's fertilizers and stuff as well. So you can check on the prices and that kind of thing here. But we've got a seed and fertilizer buy point, very nice indeed. We come across the way just here. We've got a gas station, I think we've got an electric charge point here as well. As we come across here, we have got Baron's Bales sell point, just there. We've got a buy point for manure, so you can purchase manure from there. Just down from here, we've got the Farmer's Market sell point, just there. We've got the Animal Dealer, just here. And then we come around here, we've got Mulicious, which is dairy for all intents and purposes, but I don't think it does chocolate. This one, I think, again, it's only 25 grand, I'm sure it was. I love that carton just sat top of the bin. Yeah, 25,000. Yeah, butter and cheese. And that one, I said, wood planks, fairly standard for the sawmill. So what I'm going to do from here, is I'm going to cut across to the island just over there, which is our start island. Some of the islands have got forests on, some are sort of open expanse, some have got fields on, some have got grass on. It's a real mix and match sort of look of what's going on. Um, we've got a well just there. You can't use water from here because it's seawater. Again, loads of mods in the mod hub, but we do have the well from Omatana just here for water. The silo, 250,000 litre. Like I said, that is a standard one. Sleep point just there. Our equipment and machinery we start with. We do have some seed and we do have some fertiliser. Um, it all is damaged. It all requires a bit of work. That's 80%, that's at 69%, that's at 60 and I think the, even the pickup requires fuel, I think. So it all requires a bit of work, it's all a bit dirty, needs, needs something doing. But like I said, if you come on through and farm manage and start from scratch, you won't have any of this, including the pickup and the forklift, and this plot here will look like this. So there you go. Um, if we come just around the side here, we've got a little clump of trees, so we can do a little bit of forestry off the start. These are our two start fields. I'm just going to throw the drone up. <laughs> I know I say that, it's not, but... So as you can see here, we've got a roadway that comes to here, and then it ends. And we've got a bit over here. If we go across, I want to get down to the bottom section. This is the bit I was talking about. I loved it. I think this is really, really cool. I love the fact it kind of winds across. You've got these little islands with bits of river winding their way across them. I don't know, it's something a bit different. If we go right across this way, the next plot over, well, there's a bridge that joins that little triangle there to this one here, placeables point here. Again, farm, productions, factories, whatever you want to put on there, or just plough the whole lot out, it's in type shoe. Like I said, some of the plots have got the odd field, uh, the odd tree on, some are fully forested, some are just very open with grass on. A little something for everyone. I am going to have to put some money in because I've just remembered why I needed to. Something I'm... Oh no, I've already done it. I was going to say something I was going to show you later on. Uh, I might be able to do it with the money we've got. Anyway, 
Um, what we're going to do from here, what way do I want to go? I can go east, west, or north. We're going to go west first, I think. That would make more sense. When I say west, <laughs> can't make sure because there's only bridges across on certain islands. I need to make sure I go the right way. We'll go west first. We'll get a bit, bit of a glimpse, a bit of a taste. I think it was. There are no animal pastures or animal pens on any of the um, islands. Again, that's for you to decide. You might decide one of your islands or it's going to be for animals. You might decide to scatter them around across the map. You might decide to play this on multiplayer and divvy it all up so maybe four of you have a kind of quarter of the islands each and you battle it out. I don't know. So if we come round to here, we come out to the docks, the harbour area. Just there we've got um, wood export dock, so that's for exporting your wood off the island. And then we've got export dock just here. I love that. Welcome to Square Islands. Every time I hear that, what was the map I was on the other day? Glengarry, around in the harbour. Every time I hear seagulls at the moment, I just want to go up to the Lake District, I want to go to Whitehaven or Weymouth, either one. <laughs> Two of my favourite places I like to go to. And there are lots of places around the coast which are absolutely wonderful. And you know, one of my other places I love to go to, Clavelli. Oh, wow, what an amazing place. It's just places from my childhood. Um, <laughs> anyway, sorry. I digress. I'm going to head back into the middle. We've just come from... Let's go back to our map. So from the centre island down to there, we went across that one there and then around the edge there to here. I'm going to head back into the middle now. I'm going to go up to there and we're going to go east. And then when we've done that, then we'll go north. I'll see you back there in a minute. I don't know if I said earlier or not. Um, the uh, vehicle shop and workshop just there um, the workshop trigger, I didn't, I drove away, it's around the front. And that is the reset point on the map. I can't remember if I said it was the reset point or not. So we're going to head east now. There should be a little bit of to and froing, but that's good. So what we're doing now is heading out to another cell point. This is Larry's Lumber Yard. It's just a cell point, but the road follows it out. And what I'm going to do as well is show you um, a clip I did earlier on. That's why I suddenly thought I don't actually need to, to um, put any money in because I did it earlier. Another placeables point just there. So again, whatever you want to put in. This is another one of those. This is a build your own map. But with an absolute twist. I mean, I, I, it is so different to anything else. If we swing around here, we've got Larry's Lumber Yard just in here. So, Wood Cell Point. South of here, we've got another place, was Point I showed you on the map, right down to the bottom, and again, more forestry and bits and bobs and that kind of thing. Now, what I'm going to show you is a clip I did earlier on. So, joining islands together, you need to own both islands. So if you're going to put a bridge in, and I'm going to show you the bridge in a little while, if you're going to put a bridge in, you need to own both islands to span it, because it needs to be able to be put down on the island you're on, but also it needs to reach the island you're going to. If you don't own it, it probably won't let you. I mean, I'll show you what I mean. We go to decoration, go to our others, and we go to our bridges. Land is not owned, it's not going to let me place it either end. But what we can do um, is like cut to the clip because the other option is if you don't want to do a bridge, we can go into landscaping. If we go to sculpting, 
and then you want to go to level now again it's not owned by me at the moment but i will cut to the clip in a minute so what you can do but it's expensive that's the thing you can reclaim the land so as much or as little, as little of it as you want so what you could do is you can make a causeway cross you could actually just completely build the land up between two entire island sections so you join two island sections together to make one you could if you wanted to bring it out you could do a winding section on it so you've got a narrower winding river that runs between the two that you could put bridges on um, it's entirely up to you if you are going to use the landscaping tool to bring the land up not only do you need to own this bit of land and that bit of land you need to own the waterway because this waterway you're what you're doing effectively is you're bringing the land up from under the waterway so you must own it it's not expensive so you can purchase it that's why i purchased it at the start so what i'm going to do now is cut to a video clip of me just doing just showing you that i mean it's just, i'm not doing the whole section but showing you that with this little bit of land purchased that bit of land and the waterway in between you can build the land across i will cut to that now So there you go see it works all right you can do it let's say it's expensive so you might want to ch chuck a load of money it's one of those things a little bit like lucas island where i extended out and i built islands and i did all that kind of thing you know how you want to go about it is in touch you you might decide well i want to have a river that kind of winds its way up or across or different or not and, you know you might just want to join the whole thing with bridges it's entirely up to you um i've taken the liberty of bringing my vehicle back and we are now here so we're going to head north um, again, I'm going to show you a couple of things. There's a placeables point just here. Again, it's nice. It's little details that make it stand out. We've got some roadways and stuff, and there are bridges that link a few of these islands together. And then you've got gaps. So you can, I think you can go across from this island up here, out and across here, up across the top, but then you can't link unless, unless you buy the islands up. But I think those are. But I'll show you again. We'll, we'll chuck the drone up again, and I'll show you. But for the time being, let's just go north a second. We have a bridge here. And we have a bridge here. We're heading towards the Maze Island. 
Now there are some instructions with regard to the maze, and we'll get to that in a moment. Um, it's, there's no actual, you know, I think it's an honesty box philosophy with that. What we're going to do is just stop here a moment. We'll leave the engine running, but I'm going to throw the drone up. So, when I said about leaving the island over this side, if we come off of here, we've got this roadway that runs out, winds its way, bridge across there, and we go this way, we can go across this island, it winds its way around, we've got a little bridge onto that bit, a little bridge onto this bit, a bridge across here, which takes you all the way over, and we can wind our way right the way around, up across the top, to another placeables point, which is right over here, just there but then the bridge ends there's no bridge across there so you'd have to buy the land there's no bridge across from there you'd have to buy the land but you can get all the way out to there if you want to without having to buy any extra bridges or anything you have to buy the land if you want to own it but you can drive all the way out there and no problem at all so what we're going to do at this point is we are currently here so what i'm going to do is buy this plot here not too expensive buy that plot there not too expensive and i'm going to buy the maze plot so, I own the water already, so I could build across if I wanted to, but what I'm going to do is we'll go back into here, go to decoration, go to others, I'm going to get a couple of large bridges. So I should be able to span across, no problem at all, because I own both. And then if we swing that one around that way, it should have gone the other way, but it doesn't really matter. Whoa, why is that going? That's not... Whoa, okay, that was weird. I lost control momentarily. Don't know why. Should have put the increments on. Where are we? Toggle snapping. There we go. Brilliant. So, with my bridges installed, so that's that's bridging. I mean, you know, like I say, put as many in as you like. And we come across to here. Now, this has some instructions. And it says on the board, Welcome to the Blueberry Maze. Complete the maze, walk, run or drive. Find all three collectibles. Try not to cheat by going through the bushes. You can drive through the bushes. Complete the maze in under five minutes. We're watching you. And it says, kind regards, the management. So, there are three collectibles. There are three cheeses. Three cheese, hip hip, hooray. Um, there are three cheeses to be collected. Now, there's no timer, there's nothing like that. It is an honesty box thing. You can set a timer, you can try and go around, find the three cheeses and come back out again. It's not a find your way to the middle type one. If we throw that up, you can see plenty of room. So if you're going to drive around it, you can. But once, you've owned, once you own this, it does say you need to complete the challenge um, before you can do anything with the island. You don't necessarily have to. Like I say, it's more of an honesty box type thing. And you can then go into your landscaping tool and you can start changing the fields you can paint over it you can do whatever you want plow it out it's entirely up to you um but the maze is here and like i say there are three and they are they are because they're cheeses they're quite small if you're in a car it's a lot harder but if you're on foot can you do it in under five minutes that's the question um and then when you're done you've got a plot of land you can do whatever you want with or if you don't want to buy the maze you don't want to do that you don't have to just just deal with the rest of it. Do whatever you want to do. Like I say, it's it's um, <laughs> just when you think you've seen everything. Just when you think you've seen everything map makers can throw at you, you get a curveball, and it's like, uh, yeah, wow. That's Square Islands by Farmer Rabbit. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Enjoy the rest of your day. And thanks for watching.